Welcome back to Pharmacy House Australia. Today, we have another exciting scenario that will not only assist you in your pharmacy exams but also provide you with valuable insights for real-world cases. Stay until the end for additional study questions. Now let's dive straight into it. Hi, my name is Brianna and I'm the pharmacist. What can I do for you today? Hi, I was hoping to get this prescription dispensed please. Of course was the prescription for yourself. Yes, it's for me. Could you please tell me if you have had this medication before? I haven't had this medication before. Thank you for informing me. Before I dispense this medication, may I kindly inquire about what led the doctor to prescribe this medication for you? I saw my doctor this morning and discussed my recent difficulty with sleeping. I also mentioned that the frequency of my gout attacks has been increasing. In response, the doctor suggested that I try allopurinol for the prevention of gout attacks. And what information did the doctor provide on managing your insomnia? To address my insomnia, the doctor recommended lifestyle changes such as adopting a consistent sleep schedule, creating a calming bedtime routine, and avoiding stimulants like caffeine before bedtime. She also provided me with printed information for improving sleep hygiene. I have a review with her in two weeks. That's excellent to hear. And those strategies can truly be beneficial in assisting with insomnia. To ensure I'm being thorough, could you tell me about any existing medical conditions you may have or if you are currently taking any other medications, including over-the-counter products and herbal supplements? I take ibuprofen 400 mg as required for gout flare-ups, fexofenadine 180 mg for hay fever and amends multivitamin for general health. And how are you going with these medications? I've been using ibuprofen for a few years now, and it has proven effective in managing my gout attacks. During the spring, I take fexofenadine 180mg specifically for my hay fever, and it also works well. I started taking the men's multivitamin last month and have experienced a noticeable increase in energy levels. That's great to hear. Let's say you also inquire about the following. The patient's diet, lifestyle, any other tests the doctor conducted in their family history. The patient reveals the following information. He is of Korean ethnicity and maintains a traditional Korean diet. He goes for daily walks to maintain fitness with his wife. His kidney and liver function were normal when last tested and he has not undergone any other tests recently. His older brother also has gout and recalls that he had a bad reaction to a gout medication. Have you identified the problem? If you haven't, we recommend pausing the video here and checking your resources. Once ready click resume. Mr. Lee, I am not sure if you are aware but people from Southeast Asian backgrounds, including of Korean ethnicity, can sometimes have a genetic allele that raises the risk of hypersensitivity reactions to allopurinol. Since your brother had a bad reaction to a gout medication and you have not undergone any pharmacogenetic testing, I'd like to contact your doctor to discuss the possibility of testing for this gene. Would you mind waiting, please? I'm grateful for your assistance, and I'm okay with waiting. Hi doctor, I'm Brianna the pharmacist next door. I have a mutual patient of ours Mr. Lee who has recently been prescribed allopurinol for the management of gout. Mr. Lee is of Korean ethnicity and as you may be aware this group is more likely to have HLA-B5801 allele, which increases risk of hypersensitivity reactions. Mr. Lee also mentioned that his brother had an adverse reaction to a gout medication in the past. I recommend we test for the allele before initiating Mr. Lee on the allopurinol. What are your thoughts? Hi Brianna, thanks for the call. I agree that HLA testing would be beneficial for Mr. Lee to reduce the risk of allopurinol-induced hypersensitivity. Could you please ask Mr. Lee to collect a pathology form from my surgery and wait to start taking the allopurinol until I can review the results? Absolutely, thank you for your time. Hi Mr. Lee, thanks for patiently waiting. I have spoken to your GP and she would like you to undergo genetic testing to reduce the risk of experiencing a serious adverse reaction to this medication. Additionally, she has requested you to visit the surgery to pick up the pathology. She advises you to hold off on starting the allopurinol until she has had the opportunity to review your results. Do you have any questions? No I don't have any questions. Thanks for your help.
Now, take a moment to consider the following questions to assist you in your exam studies. Thank you all for watching this video, we trust you found it valuable. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Looking forward to seeing you in our next one.